And we're live. How are you? Hope you're doing great. Uh, well, anyway, I want to talk to you about um, why I haven't been doing any lives in the last couple of years. I, I think last year I didn't do a single live. Somewhere in the middle of 2021 or the beginning of 2021, I know I did a couple lives. I was able to do a couple interviews as well. But um, in the beginning of 2021, I was already in developing and mode in developing mode for Damage a Hobo's Tale, which is a series that I started developing. And, uh, you know, we went we went through the whole process of, uh, I guess, working with uh, a whole team and everybody who was just excited to be able to do this. Uh, we found the cast members and just... I mean, it was just amazing. I think most of the people that we worked uh, with for this project, uh, they're going to be, I guess, uh, friends for life, right? And that's usually what happens when you start working on something together. Um, well, anyway, I um, if you haven't checked it out, I mean, um, it's in Chicano Hollywood TV, or you could go to ChicanoHollywood.com and then just look for Chicano Hollywood TV, and then you'll be able to watch it. Um, I think the only thing they require is for you to put in your email and then uh, they sent you, I guess, a link to be able to see the film. And you could also see other films that are there for free. Um, so let me go back to 2021. So I believe we did some production in somewhere in the late uh, November, early December. Yeah, I think it was early December when we shot some of the, the scenes uh, for episode one. And then uh, we continue shooting some of the rest, the rest of the things somewhere in, I believe it was uh, February, March. And then also shot some takes on I think somewhere around July, somewhere in June, July. Yeah. So, so we did shoot for a couple of days and I know that we had missed a few things that we needed. So we had to go back and shoot in some locations. Um, uh, but uh, uh, j just to complete, I guess, uh, one of the fight scenes that's in damaged and, and, you know, we, I finished editing and uh, color correcting the, the episode somewhere around july or august i believe but uh, right after that um we had a festival that we were invited to which was las vegas international film festival where we had damage playing there on the theater and it did very well uh, i think ours was probably one one of one of the probably two or three films that had a lot of action in it and so I was very happy about that, that people were, you know, they really liked the action, the martial arts action in the film and the sound effects and everything just sounded great in the theater. I mean, it was just a great experience, not only for me, but for all the actors and people who had worked in the film and got to have the red carpet experience and all that for damage. I mean, it was great. And then right after that, I decided to uh put it on the platform, the Chicano Hollywood uh, TV platform. And now people could watch it for free. So that was that was a great thing. Um, let me see. Now, uh, uh, I'm not 100% I'm not sure how many people have seen it till today. Um, but I know that Chicano Hollywood is a streaming app who is currently in the growing stages. And I just can't wait for that streaming app to, you know, be able to have thousands of subscribers. Uh, so they're they're going to be able to see that project and other future projects that I'm working on. Also that year, I started helping um, a production company called the James Entertainment Group. And they were developing, I mean, he was developing something that uh, it's called uh, Dimensions, and I know he has other stories that he had completed already to join this, almost this uh, this idea of his story of what he has. And I mean, you could look it up at, uh, I think it's called James Entertainment, um, James, yeah, James Entertainment 
Corp or Inc., I believe. I'm not sure. Uh, but you could probably just go to jamesentertainment.com and you're going to be able to see some of the projects that uh, Robert's working on. Well, I was able to co-produce and also be a line producer for for uh, one of those stories. So it was, I mean, it's a lot of great experience working with um, with the whole crew, with uh, with just everybody. I mean, everybody was great. Um, meeting new people uh, for that project, and I mean, I also I was also working on other projects where mm -hmm. I did a few stunts here and there. Um, I got a chance to be able to play and choreograph some of the things for uh, MVP production films. Uh, Danny Lopez. The name of the film is uh, When Death Comes Knocking. So I was I was pretty busy, you know. I had lots of fun, and that's kind of like where I directed my time last year. All the extra time that I have to be able to help, and you know, let me bring something up. There, there's something that I got actually from MVP Productions. So, Look at this. This is pretty cool. I actually got a um, certificate of appreciation. It says uh, presented to Giovanni Perez in recognition for your um, devotion and dedication to the cinematic excellence. Thank you for all your hard work and for being an example to your peers. Presented by uh, Danny Lopez and MVP Productions. Isn't that cool? I mean, I really, I really enjoy, um, I mean, I'm really thankful every time I get um, something like that or somebody just giving you recognition. I mean, that's, I guess, as a martial artist, as an actor, as a, uh, I guess, an entertainer. I mean, that's, feels great. So I want to thank Danny Lopez for that uh, certification that he sent me and appreciation. So thank you so much. Uh, I haven't uh, had the opportunity to be able to thank him through a video or through anything like that, but I'm doing it here today. So thank you so much, Danny. And uh, I know how much um, When Death Comes Knocking uh, means to you and, and what it meant to you throughout the process and 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 completing the film, even though I know you had, you know, I think every filmmaker has uh, uh, different things that you have to go through to be able to finish a film. So congratulations on your completion of your film. And also all the cast and crew and everybody that worked and that I was able to uh, help out in the film and, and be able to, I guess in some case, in, so, in some, some of that film, I was able to, uh, be almost like a first AD and uh, setting up the shots for some of the some some of the scenes. Not not everything. I, I think everybody was uh, just uh, doing their best with whatever they could to be able to help out in that uh, film. Um, and for damage, I mean, I couldn't have done it without. I guess every the whole cast again and. Also, a big uh, thank you to uh, Liam Fountain for also being there and having conversations with him to be able to get this done as well. And um, we went through a, um, on, on 2021, we went through a um, crowdfunding campaign. And it was a brand new one. I think it's called uh, um, Create Your Story or it was from yeah i think it's called create your story or or make your story i'm i'm not, I, i'm not a, I, I totally forgot it. but anyway we went through that uh streaming app and you know it worked we were able to uh raise some funds to be able to do that episode and it was quite an experience because i had never um i, I don't think i've ever raised any money for any project before i've uh, usually 
you know, saved it myself and paid for it myself. But in this case, I couldn't do it. I, I needed the financial help. So we did the crowdfunding and thank you so much for all those who contribute to the project. Man, it's a, it's a great blessing to be able to, you know, do what you love and, and having the support from people that, uh, you know, that, that, that really, um, believe in you. So thank you so much for that. Um, what else did I do in 2022? Um, yeah, I think those are the three films. And I mean, I did work uh, doing stunts and as an actor on a couple other films. I knew I know one of those films was a um, um, a film. What was it called? I think at first it was called Nogales, and then I think they changed the name. Um, but it was with a with. A, let me see. Hold on. Let me look at my IMDb, and I'll tell you what it was. See, I should have prepared myself for this, but I just wanted to be here, just give you a little recap of why I haven't done any interviews or anything like that with anybody. So, um. Let me see. Wow, well, it's not even loading. Okay, so, oh, okay, it's called As Good As Dead. And that one is a, that was an action film. And I got to play a uh, Mexican police officer there. I didn't get to do any fights, <laughs> so, yeah. You know, but I got a chance to be able to um, have some dialogue in this. And I want to thank uh, the director R. Ellis Frazier, and the writer for that film was Michael J. White. So, uh, more short is Michael J. White. And I mean, it was it was a great experience, man, working with these guys. And uh, I mean, I also had a chance to, you know, have some conversations with Guillermo Ivan. It's uh, he's a Mexican actor, and I think he has some things on uh, Chicano Hollywood TV as well. And he also has a show that's playing in Netflix. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah. Let me see. I forgot the name of it, uh, but he has, you know, he's got a couple of shows there, man. He's got, he's got a lot of movies he's been working on and, uh, you know, I, I want to have the same opportunity to be able to work, be working and having a lot of work as well. So I'm just going to keep pushing on that. And, uh, this year, I, I mean, I'm working on other episodes for damage and also other um, events that are going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a, a fight choreography event for filmmakers and the performer. So you got to follow my Instagram page. That's where I mostly post uh, most of the things that I'm doing. It's uh, Geo Perez Official on Instagram. That's Geo Perez Official on Instagram. And you can find me there and I'll post some of the stuff that I'm doing, you know, most of the, I guess all every, all the time I'm posting stuff there, what I'm personally doing, what I'm working on or how I'm feeling or just pictures or anything that kind of motivates me and gives me inspiration. So I'm, you'll, you'll see me post stuff on that there. And uh, another thing I'm doing, actually, I'm doing something tomorrow. I'm doing, and that's, I think that's my first live or my, not my first life, but the first um, conversation type podcast that I'm doing with uh, Jeffrey Morton and uh, uh, Mateo tomorrow on uh, 
It's called Voices of Sun is the page. And I'm actually going to be hosting that in a way because I'm going to be using the Voices of Sun's uh, page. So that's going to be a really good experience. And I think it's going to warm me up and have the conversation to get better this coming year. And uh, also having conversations with other producers like uh, Robert J. Harden and um, Alan Moser for projects that we're going to be working on this year. And I'm just excited, man. I'm just excited. And uh, I can't wait to, you know, maybe uh, have a little bit of time to be able to have a better setup where I'm at and be able to do more of these videos and give you some more information, not only on film, martial arts films, but uh, maybe martial arts techniques. I mean, just, you know, place a comment and let me know what you're interested in, in learning or if you have any questions on what you could do to, uh, maybe you have an idea or something, or maybe you, you're a filmmaker yourself and you want to get something and you don't know where to start. I mean, ask, I mean, it's just a question away. I know there's a lot of videos out there that will probably help you, but if you have any questions for me, you could definitely leave me a comment or, you know, send me a message and uh, definitely when I get a chance, answer when I can. Um, I miss, uh, I mean, I, I didn't have a chance to practice more shorts uh, uh, last year. I was always, I'm, I was only doing, uh, practicing with my for myself or, and just doing you know regular exercising and my stretch and kicking but I didn't really have a chance so much I mean I, I, I would go to a few classes that I, when I had a chance of doing um, kapap which is almost like uh, Krab maga kapap and uh, master um, uh, sensei uh, Bressler, yeah, I mean he's he's real good. Jacob Bressler, he's uh, he's been teaching you know different techniques for a long time, and he's he gets a lot of martial arts from different backgrounds to be able to practice. Usually on a Sunday morning, sometimes I think he's done you know Saturdays, but I know he usually does it on Sunday, and he's also in films. He he's been working in films for a while now. But at the same time, he's been teaching at um, houses, House of Champions and also uh, having private lessons himself. So uh, when I get a chance, I'll go to his uh, uh, lessons that he does on Sundays, which are, are really good. So that's the only time where I've had uh, opportunity to practice. And what else, man? And then for 2023, like I said, I'm working on that. I'm also working on other projects, film projects that I'm developing with uh, the other producers that I talked about. And, man, and uh, I, I'm really, I'm really excited. I'm hopeful that everything that uh, we're doing is going to, uh, you know, bring out something good and, so you guys get a chance to be able to see it and be able to um, enjoy, I guess, the the product that we're bringing out. I haven't posted any um, previews here on this channel, but I'm going to post a couple of previews. Well, I'm going to post a preview today. It's called the, the Fight uh, Preview. I'm going to try to edit what I can, but it, it, it just shows uh, a little bit of some of the fight that uh, for, uh that's in damage in hobo's tail and if you have any questions about damage you know please you know send me a comment and i'll i'll respond to those comments again when i get a chance and uh thank you so much for watching and i uh, i know i posted a couple of weeks ago i posted um that fan film that we did which is called um the revenge of the times and and before doing damage i mean I, that was going to go to a couple of festivals and be able to show it show it to a few people like martial artists but never got a chance to 
it never went forward with that because of the pandemic. Most of the places where they were doing film festivals, they were not even doing live screening. Everybody was just doing um, just uh, Zoom. And that's what happened with that film. And I mean, it did get accepted to the Urban Action Showcase. And so we did, you know, get in, get an award. And then we got an award. No, I, I think we were nominated for an award. Uh, but, uh, you know, now it's on this channel. You're able to watch it. Uh, so when you get a chance, watch it. You know, it's a, it's a nice little fan film that was worked on. Um, but uh, higher quality and I guess, um, and you'll see the development of some of the work that I'm doing. You'll see it in Damage Your Hobo's Tale. And I just can't wait to get better and be able to bring out better fight scenes um, and that I'm working on now, actually. And that's about it. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and talk to you soon. Bye.